Okay, so we've put a few layers of gesso on here, and I've got a bunch of these um, some of these dimensional pieces. Some of them are resin, some of them are modeling paste, some of them are paper clay, and we're going to put some of these on here and then put more gesso. <laughs> um, I, I want these wings on here, and these are resin wings that I just made actually not too long ago. on there. I have a bunch of these other like little pieces. I also have some pieces of metal. These are actually die cut from aluminum cans and I want to put these on here too but I actually don't want to get too much paint or gesso or anything on them. Um, I may want to distress them a little bit but, it, so I, but not too much so I think I'm going to wait a little bit to put some of them on. I am going to play with on some of these though. I know I want those wings on there, I just don't know if I want any of this other stuff on there. I don't know. Maybe these. There's too much paste on there. Oops. So we're going to put some of these things on here and then we're going to let it dry some more. <laughs> and put some more gesso. We're going to just keep going like that. I think that's good. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. I'm going to put some more gesso and I'll be back. Okay, while this part out here is drying and I gave them a light dusting of gesso, I'm going to take some Tattered Angels High Impact Paint and this color, what color is this? Turquoise. <clears throat> and we're going to color this inside part in the in the tear where the, the partial faces and the blocks and everything with this turquoise paint. not to get it on the outside of the paper. Not too much. I mean, you know, this is going to be like messy and distressed, so if I get a little bit of it on the outside, it's not a it's not a huge deal. It's really not. Okay, so we're going to put another coat on here. We're probably going to need at least two coats, maybe more of the turquoise in the middle here to get the look that I want before we do anything else. <clears throat> And again, we're going to turn it around. I have no plan, just FYI, in case you didn't know that. <laughs> I, I haven't planned 
this project out completely. So I, it's going to turn out how it's going to turn out. It'll be as much of a surprise to me as it will be to you guys. I'm just playing with pieces and parts, layering them, giving the whole thing some texture, and playing. I do have this spray that's called Dragonfly, and it's again, it's more of a turquoise. I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I think we're going to spray some of this in here. Yep. I like the way that pools like in the in that face part. Okay. So now I think yeah, I like that a lot. So I think we want to let that sit and let that dry. This is probably for me going to take like a couple of days for you. It's going to of course just be a few minutes, but <laughs> For me, it's going to be a while. So we are going to, I'm going to let that dry. I'll be right back. It's dry too much or while this is drying, I'm going to take some of this DecoArt Media Crackle Paste and I'm going to scrape some of this on here with a palette knife. Okay. Since we have to wait and let stuff dry anyways, Not only am I going to put this on in a messy fashion, but as it dries, it's going to crack. So I want that. I want it to crack. Because if we're going to do something that's distressed, we might as well just go for it and go all out, right? That's my thinking anyways. Alrighty, now we can let it dry. Okay, <clears throat> because of the quote I want to use on here, um, which has green lettering, I'm going to add some of this Sweet Pea Glaze, which is a Tattered Angels Glimmer Glam, which is a metallic glaze-like paint. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attempt to use it anyway. It's very watery. I kind of want to break out something that's a little drier, but we're going we're gonna to try this and see what happens. And I may need to get in here like with the baby wipe. Um, we'll see what happens. And I'm sorry if my, you know, as soon as I turn the camera on, all my devices start dinging. dinging so, you know, because of course they do. Oh, that fell in and, well, that's going to be there now. <laughs> I'm not going to pull it off. I'm going to just let it go. Okay, I do like the effect that we're getting with this on top of the turquoise paint. Now you could do this with Tattered Angel spray too, and just instead of spraying it, you could dip your brush in there. And we're just getting sort of a, a fun patina, and I'm just I'm really just trying to hit the highlights, especially on the partial face. It's helping bring out some of the features. Okay. And I'm going to put the lid back on this before I spill it because, you know, my middle name is not Grace. <laughs> Let's see if we can dry this a bit. Take our quote and cut it out a little more than it already is. At least I'm going to try. I don't have my glasses on because, you know, why would I bother putting them on before I start 
cutting paper with scissors. Uh, it just makes too much sense. I'll, I'll blame it on the fact that I'm still sick. I don't know. I don't know if that's accurate or not. But all right, I'm gonna get out some matte medium. I'm gonna just put a little bit on here. Clean a clean paintbrush with no paint on it. And put this here. And then I want to, at some point I think I want to pull these down more and um, pull them in and have it look like they're, it's, it's popping out. But I think I want to let this dry first. And then we're going to work on the outside part. Um, and we're going to let this dry first because what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff a plastic bag in here to cover all this up that we've done and then we can just be free with the spray and the paint on the outside part and then at the very last we will arrange our paper scraps um, and anything else that we think we need like the metal hearts and that sort of thing to finish the piece. So that's where we're headed and I am going to let this dry again and I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 